Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up the reverse lights after you do a manual swap. I recently did a manual swap. However, my reverse lights did not work out. Instead of jumping the PMP switch, we actually cut it off. So in this video, I'm going to pull the turbo box, gain access to the uh, wiring, and troubleshoot and connect the reverse lights so that they work when I put the car in reverse. First thing I'm going to do is test the switch. All I'm checking for is continuity, not resistance. When you're checking continuity, you come over to here. You're just making sure there's a connection or not a connection. This is where you check resistance. So, I'm going to switch my meter over there. You see it says low. I can touch the uh, pins together and it'll give me a continuity check right let me get this thing where they touch hold on a second touch that together it tells me I have continuity when that's apart no continuity it goes back to low so when you're vehicle is not in reverse it should be just like that no continuity when you shift it in reverse you should show continuity i could use alligator clips to do this with my meter or i could just touch it on there if i use both hands i'm trying to show you guys this example i'm going to use the alligator clip to the red one and i'm going to use my hand to touch the black one on there i got this black one set where it should be I got this one set where it should be. So let me go ahead and touch this. The car is not in reverse, so I should get nothing through this switch. As you can see, it's still reading nothing or low. Let me go put the car in reverse. With the car in reverse, I should get a continuity check now. As you can see, I do have a connection. I'm good to go with it in reverse. I know the switch is working. Next thing I want to do is see which one of these wires is bringing power to me. The black one or the green one. One of these wires should not be plugged up. So I'm going to put a probe in there. I could actually back probe it if I want and then I'm going to check both of these for voltage. That setting there is AC voltage. That setting there is DC voltage, and that's what I want to check. I can go ahead and check my battery. I have a solid 12.67 volts on my battery. Now I'm going to check those holes and turn the key on and see if I get power through the switch or one of those wires with the key on. This time I hook my alligator clip up to the ground grounded it with the battery ground now i'm gonna stick this in the hole i got my ignition key on and i'm gonna take this and put it in each probe of that wire to figure out which wire is my power lead so let me go down here and do this looks like i'm gonna need both hands for a second green wire and i have no power there whatever that is I'm on the black side, and as you can see, on the black side, I got 12.45 volts. So, that's my wire that's supplying my power. I need to find the wire that's sending the juice back to the reverse light without blowing my fuse. I thought was a reverse light is a blue wire with a green stripe on it. So, I'm going to look at my buddy's example 
for his 95 and see what wire he had connected. But he had a red and black and a blue and black. I don't see a red and black in here. I see a red and green. So, I do see a blue and looks like purple. And here's a blue and black here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure all these wires are separated. And then I'm going to hook my positive up to this blue-black and go in the back of the car and see if I have reverse lights. If I do, that's the wire I need to use. With the ignition off, I'm going to go through each wire one by one until I get reverse lights. I spliced into the wire that did not have power. I hooked it to a positive, and guess what? I have reverse lights. So we had the right pair connected. What I think happened is we didn't have all these other wires properly insulated, so something shorted out. So I'm going to insulate all these wires make a cleaner cut to them and plug this back in and see if I have reverse lights again. Plug the plug back in. I turn the ignition on. I put the car in reverse and we do have reverse lights. So I'm going to insulate those other wires and reroute my wiring for this reverse light and I'll have that one out of the way. Recut all these wires one by one so they can't short each other out and I do want to point out that the wires to jump the starter is a green with a red stripe and a green. I pulled on each of the wire uh, each one individually to stretch the wire insulation over the end of the wire so you could tape each one or you could try to stretch the wire insulation over each wire and then tape them up that way. You don't want them to short out. You can cut them all different lengths too. Also, I'm thinking about running a pair inside the car to that clutch switch to control this by the clutch. So I'm going to temporarily stow this and contemplate on that a little later. Tap my wires up some more. Wired up my O2 sensor there. Now I'm going to put my air box in. Got my turbo 2 hooked back up. And have reverse lights. Got my battery hooked back up. Get rid of these little wire clippings I clipped out. Best way to do it when you're outside. Maybe squirrels or something will eat it. Got my battery clipped in. Got my air box back together. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.